Hi friends, welcome to Wild Cottage. I'm Susan and I live in the hills of County Clare here in the west of Ireland uh, with my partner Tom and our two rescue dogs. Oh yeah, and now my bonus son, Merlin. He has a name and he doesn't mind me saying it. He's a grown, he's a grown man and he's just relocated back here um, from living in Cork for many years and working down there. So yeah, he got the call to come back to the Wild West. So he's here for a while, which is nice. So I, if, if you are a returning viewer, welcome. Thank you very much. I can see we've had more subscribers again, which is absolutely wonderful. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you again. You definitely keep the podcast going and all your lovely comments and all for, for from viewers new and old. And you may know that I, in August, I got COVID and it's really knocked me for six and it's uh, very much triggered my fibromyalgia back to a place where it hasn't been for many years. Um, so sort of like when I first really got it badly, uh, 2017, 2018, before I'd kind of worked through the different things to do for it. And so that it wasn't quite so bad, but it seems to have knocked me right back. I haven't been able to do much. I'm not going to go into that, but I have been casting on loads of things. So what I want to do is I want to share some of those with you, but doing a podcast or a lot of things is just overwhelming. And so what I thought I'd do is I will do little sort of daily or semi-daily uh, catching up with my knitting and crafting because I've got some crochet and spinning as well and a few other things actually uh, where I can show you a project that I'm working on and yeah it'll just be a short video won't really be editing I will just try to put up a picture of the pattern that I'm working on for that day so you can see that and, and a link or two in the description box but yeah, I'm only going to really talk about one or two projects at a time each day or every other day or whenever I upload. So I hope that is enjoyable for you. And um, yeah, because I just want to share what's going on. Uh, and I will talk about what I've chosen for the Stephen West MCAL because yes, I'm going to do that. And I also had someone asking about Vlogmas. Would I do Vlogmas? I absolutely want to do Vlogmas. I love the holiday season. I love the whole festive feeling and um, I will definitely do that as much as I'm able, whether it's every day or every couple days or once a week or whatever, but I certainly have plans for that. But now let's just jump right into the uh, knitting is what I'm going to show you today uh, without further ado. Okay, so in my little basket here, I have two projects and I just have two little pins here, little little lovely Halloweeny uh, witch with her cat and also this is a pin from um, Nine Arrows which is a person here in Ireland that makes these pins and it says Samhain which is the old Celtic traditional fire festival or Halloween so yeah so I put this in here because this these two projects are very Halloweeny in the yarns anyhow so first off, I have what is going to be a Tolsta tea. I was starting to do this summer sorrel because I wanted to knit along with Rachel of the Rachel Ray Fibers Arts, and she's doing a summer sorrel. But with the things that, like, yeah, the COVID brain and then the fibro fog brain, brain I just, I messed it up and that's what's left of it. <laughs> That was the I-cord bind off that I could frog back or not bind off, but cast on. So I'm just doing a very simple Tolsta tea. And this colorway is one I actually found at a thrift shop in the U.S. And it's a hand dyed yarn from someone who no longer is dying and apparently did lovely things. As I can see, I really love that. Uh, Evil Little Goat. And it's called, it's on the squishy goat base, which is 100% superwash merino. It's a four ply fingering. And the colorway is shattered. So I think it's very like, you know, when the pumpkin gets old and if it gets shattered after it's been a jack-o'-lantern, 
you see you know the different shades and then the you know the burnt bit and all from the candle so that's that's that coming along there I'm almost about to split for the sleeves and I'm also going to then uh, blend it in with oh that's gone oh, very black this one here from finely fibers who's an Irish indie dyer down in County Cork who are incidentally will be at the Let's Knit Festival here in County Clare um, on the, tw I think it's the 29th of October. Herself, who else? Uh, sorry, uh, Eve Chambers Textiles, Lonely Mountain Yarns, Woolly Adventures, and Irish Ir Artisan Yarns, I think, are going to be there, the Yarn Dyers. And then there's other some other things as well. It's free to go in because it's just the first festival. Um, yeah, but check out uh, Let's Knit Festival, I think, on Instagram is probably the best way to check that out. It's over in Doolin in County Clare. So so anyhow, this is uh, Finally Fires. This is her colorway, the Fire Pit. And I believe I have it on its uh, BFL. Yeah, it's the Superwash, 80% Superwash BFL, 20% nylon. And again, it's a, it's a fingering weight, 365 meters in that. So I'm going to blend that in. I have actually, and I even have another skein left over from another skein and with the, the shattered colorway. And so I'm looking to start blending this in right after I kind of go under, after the, what would you call the curve of the breast? <laughs> Out right after, when it starts to hit right under my breast, I'll probably start fading it there and go into the black. So yeah, I'm going to probably also do long sleeves. And oh, yes, I should also mention, again, with the brain, um, I have, so the pattern of the Tolstice Tea by Rebecca Clo, you've probably all heard about it a thousand million times, but it includes a DK version and a fingering weight version. And I have fingering weight yarn. Um, but I started following the DK weight pattern just because brain not working. So I've had to do, I just have done a little bit of um, math. So I'm going to do a size four in this. And my gauge is going probably to be about, once it's washed, I didn't block the swatch. I just kind of swatched as I went. So right now I'm getting about 20, 21 stitches per four inches so I imagine it's going to stretch out to 20 uh, or 19 per square inch so or per four inches so I think if I do a size four that will be that will be fine so yeah so that's a, a little bit of a <laughs> unintentional modification and then I'll do long sleeves I also didn't do a very big uh, collar ribbing because I don't want I don't like collar close to me so and of course it's really loose because I was doing DK uh, pattern and numbers uh, on a fingering weight yarn but sure it will be fine it's only for me then also I cast on I have cast on a bazillion things while I have been unable to do much else um, I cast on this is last year's one of the last year's uh, Halloween colorways from Hobie um, and they're online uh, that I and I got this in the glitter sock wool, so it's a uh, it's a wool seventy four percent wool twenty four percent polyamide and of course two percent polyester, which is the uh, sparkle, and we get four hundred twenty meters in the hundred grams, and I've cast on for some mitts, and they are called the broom riders mitts, and they're designed for like self striping or striping yarns, uh, they're by Shy. Oh, I can't remember her last name, but she has the Witchy Knits podcast, but I will link that below. So I am I have cast on for those, and I've got my little halloween -y stitch markers. And that's it. I'm not going to tell you about any more, because then it will be too much for me to put in the comments or in the description. And also, I just get way too brain tired. So that's what I'm working on. Sheppy is right here beside me. Mimi is outside with Tom. Yeah, did you hear me talk about you? Say hi to the people. He has been my shadow, and so has she, actually, uh, when I'm making any sort of little noise that, oh my goodness, it hurts. 
she is right there with me. So anyhow, but I, um, I'm in good spirits, amazingly enough. Uh, maybe it's because of all the painkillers, which don't work all the way for the pain, but, <laughs> but I'm just so pleased because I have my knitting and it's all these wonderful colors and I have my honey and I have my doggies and I can look out and see, well, nope beautiful things so many birds the dahlias as you can see there the red dahlias there were more until the storm came yesterday and blew up a lot of their petals so yeah um it's just it's only pain it's not life-threatening and i have many things i'm very blessed that uh, i have people around me and things i can do most of the time even when i'm kind of stuck in bed Okay, friends, take care, and uh, I hope you're enjoying your September, and if you're not enjoying it right now, just wait, because as things go down, they go up again. Take care, with love from Wild Cottage.